What's up YouTube? This is Joe from Zephyr Games featuring on the Unhinged Zombie Hunters channel to give you guys a deck profile on Infinity Gears. But not so this is what I call Infinity Gears. Um but it's actually a combination of the Infinity Track art type with Ancient Gears. Now, as far as I've noticed, I have not seen anyone do this combination. And I've got to give John a shout out for doing, um, for coming up with the initial concept um, of Infinity um, Tracks with the Ancient Gears. Um, because they all revolve around being Earth Machines. Now, initially, I have to... Um, be honest here i thought how is this going to work so um i took a look at the infinity tracks at the time they only had two of them which is cancer grain and the um rock anchor and they do just revolve around earth machine type monsters so ancient gears being the oldest earth machine art type monsters i've ever had um in this game um i thought okay let's give this a try so i built a concept and then i uh, went over it made some few tweaks and this is what i've initially got um this is what i think could be a good structural build and a nice way to start off with your initial builds um i do have some text in the side deck which you can see um and i'll explain those some of those choices when i get them but um with the for bring this deck to you guys um because we got the rest of the um infinity track archetype cards and some of them are very good, some of them not so much for this kind of build, um, but in a pure build definitely. So with all that said and done, let's get into it. So we have firstly, I'm going to run through the Infinity Track monsters that we're playing. Um, it's not too many of them, but I'll explain why. Um, so first we have Double Cancer Crane. So um, he is a level 5 Earth Machine with 2100 attack and 500 defense. And that 500 is very important, um, which is one reason why there's so few of these in this deck. So you can trip an Earth Machine once this special summon this card from your hand in, de in defense. You can banish one Machine monster from the graveyard, add one out to trigger expand from your deck to your hand. You can use each effect of Cancer Grain once per turn. So you can tribute, summon this, then banish the thing you tributed, add Cancer Crane to your hand, and go off with your Xyz plays. It's very, very nice for playing two of them. We're playing one Road Header, so it's a 2200 attack level 5 Earth Machine with 500 defense as well. You can tribute Earth Machine, special summon card from your hand in defense. All the level 5s share this um, summon effect. And you can banish this card from your graveyard and target 5. Um, Earth Machine monsters in your graveyard, shuffle them to the deck, then draw two cards. You can use this once per turn. So, why I'm playing one of it, it's just a nice way to re um, get back your monsters into your deck, or even your extra deck. You can put some of your fusions and your exceeds and your links into there, and then you just draw two cards. Next, we have the other level five, which is Trencher. Um, same summon effect, and you can banish this card from the graveyard, then target one level 5 or lower infinity track in your grave, except trencher and special summon defense you can use once per turn. So, I'm playing one of this and one of this, just because they have good effects and they're easy to summon in this deck, and so, but I don't want to clog too much with them. And then the only one we're playing three of, which is Rock Anchor, which is a level 4 with a thousand. 800 attack and 500 defense. If this card is normal or special summon, so you can, if you special summon it off Trencher, you get this effect. You can special summon one Earth Machine monster from your hand in defense, except uh, Rock Anchor. You can only, then you can target one other uh, machine you can monster you control. Um, this levels of this and that monster are the combined levels until the end of this turn. So if you target level four, they both become eight, five, nine so on and so forth you can see where this is going so that's it for those um next we're getting into the ancient gear so i'm playing one reactor dragon and two golems because um this is just my personal preference i like the golems to go into the golem monsters uh golem is just my personal favorite but i can understand if you guys just want to stick with reactor you can probably bump reactor to two uh play golem at one or just play only reactor and just scrap golem. It's completely up to personal preference. I've never really liked um, the ultimate pound. Um, 
that's just my personal preference I don't really like him as a monster I just prefer golden because being that name um, it's just easier to um, build the deck around so that's just my personal preference next we have three Wyvern he is your searcher for your ancient gears two gear frame he is your other searcher for your ancient gears and then box two of it why two because he searches your infinite gears yes box can add a earth machine monster from your deck to your hand um, whose attack or defense is 500. All of the level fives are 500. In fact, even this guy, all of the infinity tracks have a 500 stat. The only one that doesn't is their own Stratos, which is Harvester, which is why he's here and he's not in the deck. Um, so we're playing two box just to get the most out of box and to get the most of your infinity searches. Um, you, what you can do is I'll explain later when you can play workshop and you get more searches so I'll explain when I get to it. Then we're playing three hunting hounds because it's just an easy summon fusion. Um, so 20 monsters and 20 spells, three catapult, three fortress, three gear town. I always like this ratio. I'm the one who likes um, triple fortress. I'm one of the few people who does. Um, I always like triple fortress just because you, why wouldn't you play a card? that protects your monsters from being affected in fact just literally says you are not affecting my players at all and if you do pop this i get a monster why wouldn't you play it at three it's just my personal preference um it just means that whenever i have this i know my players are safe uh one overload fusion to go into chaos giant and two ancient gear fusions to go into everything else <laughs> um three limiter removals because it is at three you're playing a deck of big beefy machines why wouldn't you play it heck you could even make your link one into 2k beta for the turn so it's just very very handy uh two polar desires because pretty much everything that's important in this deck we're playing at three of um the infinity tracks are fantastic and are awesome but in all honesty if you banish a few of them off desires it's no it's no end of the world you can still play ancient gears properly normally with no issues whatsoever and just beat your opponent down. Uh, two out trigger expanded. This is searchable of cancer crane. It basically is a continuous rank up that also says your opponent cannot target your machine exceeds as you control the card effects, which is all of our XEs. And one monster reborn to round up the main deck. The extra deck is two howitzer, two ultimate golems, one megaton and one chaos giant for your fusion cards. Um, so six fusion monsters. I like two ultimate golems because I like fusing into one naturally and having one as a backup for my Megatron. Uh, I like two Howitzer because it's the easiest one to go into. You can steal you some games with the new time rules and Chaos Giants for the Overload. If you take out Overload, you just don't play Chaos Giant. Um, and then for the Infinity Track Link, we're only playing the Link 1. Um, the Link 3 is great, but you're not really going to be realistically going into it in this kind of build considering it takes three Xyz monsters. Um, if you're making three Xyz monsters in Ancient Gears, just win with that. <laughs> you're already winning, you still need to go into the Link 3. Um, there we go. But yeah, the Link 1, so it takes one Infinity Track non-Link monster as a Xyz material, a Link material with the following effect. If this card is sent to the field from the graveyard, you can target one Xyz monster you can try attach this to it as an Xyz material you can use this effect of Infinity Track Goliath once per turn um, and Xyz monster that whose original type is machine and has this card that's Xyz material against the effect cannot be destroyed by card effects so it's just a nice link one to go into for ancient gears um, if you're playing the Infinity Tracks um, that just gives you an extra monster zone and uh, but also just has a nice protection effect for your Xyz monsters um, you can probably take one of this out for a um, Cleefort Genius zone if you want to. And then for the XCs, we're going one gig in the X is enough machine that just searches all of your machines, which is very nice, easy rank four to go into. Uh, the le level, the rank five Infinity Track Ignition, um, River Storm. So it takes two level five monsters. While this card, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can attach that monster to the system XCs material. You can use each of the following effects once per turn. Uh, you can detach a material from this card, take an Earth Machine monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the grave. If this card is in your graveyard, you can tribute one Machine Link monster, special summoner's card in defense. So you can link into this, tribute it off, get this back, this attached to that, this material, and off you go. 
Then we have the rank 7. Uh, bear in mind that you're going to these guys now via this because it just ranks you up by two ranks higher. Um, so you can go into this, which is um, so basically with River Storm, you can go into either this guy, which takes um, Colossal Mountain. Uh, when this card destroys a Prince of my Battle, you can attach it as Exceeds Material. I think all the Infinity EXCs have this effect. When he's following effect once per turn, I'm going to attach material from this card. It gains a thousand attack. If this card is in graveyard, Tribute Machine Link, Special Summon, and Defense. Or you can just go into Phantom Beast Dragon Sack. And then from these two, you can go into either this guy, um, Ignition Track Earthshaker, which is two level nines. When this card destroys a Prince of my Battle. Uh, you can attach it, blah blah blah, and you can use one of the flowing effects. You can detach any number of materials from this card, then target that many of cards on the field and destroy them. All of this cards in your graveyard contribute machine link special summon. You can see why I'm just going for three of the link ones because if any of these guys tap into the graveyard, you can just link into this, revive these, and then from this, you can go into this. There's a colossal juggernaut, well, cannon, Ibly for just literally OTK. So that's it for the main deck and extra deck. I'll just quickly run through some of the options down here. So you can play Power Bond if you can't afford Ancient Gear Fusion, just play Power Bond instead. Um, you can try out the link, the link free Infinite Ignition, but I'll be all honest, you're not going to be summoning this. And again, you're making free XCs to go into this. If you're making free XCs, just win <laughs> from that. <laughs> you don't need to go into this, waste it all away. Um, if you want to take some of the, you can main Twin Twisters if you want to guys, just to um, pop some back row. If you don't want to main it, that's fine, just put it in your side deck. Um, and an Ancient Gear Workshop, you know, you can use this to add box to your hand, since box has been added to your hand via an effect. You can then add an Infinity Track or anything else that you need from your deck, so it's just a nice little way to add this card back. Um, for budget players, um, I think this is budget as far as I know. Um, you can also use a CO6 um, Chronomaly Chaos Atlantis just for extra monster removal. Um, you can try out the Harvester Infinity Track. So if this card is normal special summon, you can add an Infinity Track monster from deck to hand, except um, Harvester. You can target an Earth um, You can target one other machine monster you control as a level, and this and that becomes the combined level. So, I mean, it's nice. Um, if it was the level one, I'd probably use it as a one-off just because I can then target what anchor to go into this guy easier but um, in all honesty I just don't think this is worth it in this kind of build because you've got box to do all your researching and you've got three ways here to search box and you can always add it back again with workshop and then you know just down here extra copies so that guys is the deck I hope you all enjoyed it um, please you leave your comments down below what you think about this deck and if you like more deck profiles like this then check us out on Zephyr War Games. Um, link to that will also be in the description below. So we do deck profiles, duels, comments, um, pack openings, deck openings, all that kind of stuff. Literally, if it's a Yu-Gi-Oh content, we've got it. If not yet, we will do. <laughs> so as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe to both of these channels. Um, so, and thanks again to the Unhinged Zombie Hunter for letting me be on the channel um, for this profile. And as always, guys, happy dueling. <laughs>